and welcome to another Antique Sunday. Today I'd like to show you a design that we used for our tea towels. I've actually drawn out the outline and um, they are really beautiful curves of lines representing stems and spot motifs in between. So enclosed by the curving coiling stem are little features like carnations and roses and bunches of grapes and pansies, another carnation, a borage, honeysuckle, not quite sure that one, <laughs> might, might be a lily, um, a pomegranate and um, another sort of exotic flower of some sort and um, and that I think is a honeysuckle worked in a different way with a little bit of laid couchwork in yellow in the middle. And you'll see that the stitches used on this are reverse chain, which I think is jolly interesting because, as you will know, Elizabethan stitches are worked in a slightly different way to this. So, um, and much more complicated and metal thread with silk. So, although this is an Elizabethan design, it actually has a, an 18th century trim, which is French. Um, this is in the colours of the wools used from the main design. And I think that's an, a really beautiful way of finishing a piece. So all these colours have been drawn down to the base, which is a sort of technique you see on large panels of crawl work when you see hummocks at the base and laden couch work and various stitches and you see unusual colours used in the base and I think you know they were so treasured these threads and so expensive they just used all they had for each project. Now this actually isn't an Elizabethan piece of crawl work it actually uses timber techniques which are, were not really used until we traded with India and China. So that's using a timber hook. So I suspect all this reverse chain is actually timber work. And then the details are added later. And I would date this at around 1700 to 1730 and not Elizabethan at all, although the design is absolutely Elizabethan in origin.